Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to another great episode of Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we are talking about how to get more out of Canva. And you guys know I love Canva so much. We've already done an episode on how to get started with Canva, so by now you should be ready for this more advanced episode. And you see here I've got my wonderful phone out. We're going to be doing a demo of the mobile version of Canva today too, so stay tuned for that. You want to definitely have your laptop out during this episode, the iPad version of Canva, and have your mobile device ready as well to install it on your phone. Here's what we're going to cover today. What is Canva and why do you absolutely need to have it in your business? Navigating the dashboard within Canva for work specifically. Importing your brand identity guidelines. Designing a template that's perfect for your business. Finding extra images and icons to really mix up your website or your social media graphics. Duplicating content across multiple platforms. Designing in bulk, the key tips and tricks. An all new exporting functionality that Canva for Work has got. And finally, managing the process from your mobile device. Let's get started. The first thing we gotta cover off on is if you have not watched that initial episode on how to get started with Canva, go and do that, watch that first. Make sure that you're really well versed in using the basic version. Secondly, go and upgrade for Canva for work. If you're a business owner, there's no excuse. You absolutely have got to have the paid version of Canva. I believe it's $12.99 for the paid version. Um, let's have a look on the computer now though and we'll double check on the pricing. So I'm just opening up my browser window to a new tab and I'm just typing in Canva for work. <clears throat> and where it says here about.canva.com forward slash work. It's loading. And oh, it doesn't give me the information. Let's go back. How much is Canva for work? $12.95 USD per month or $119.40 per year. So definitely go and sign up for that annual plan because Canva is something you, that you definitely have to have. If you're still up in the air about whether or not you keep your Adobe Creative Cloud subscriptions or whatever, that's up to you, but Canva is a must have for your business. Now, why would you upgrade to the Canva for Work version? Uh, well, you could always stay on the free version. Well, as we're going to go through in this episode, Canva for Work has got some amazing additional features that the, the free version just does not have. You'll be able to better organize your projects and designs, better organize your uploads, and also import your brand identity guidelines to make sure that Canva works perfectly and seamlessly for your brand. Lastly, you'll be able to use what's called the magic resize option to take one graphic that you've created and change the size of it to a bunch of different other sizes without having to recreate that image. So it's really, really valuable. Stuff that you can't even do in Illustrator and Photoshop, you can do it all in Canva for work. So let's get started. And let's hop on the computer. I'll show you my Canva for work subscription and I'll walk you through the dashboard. So back on the computer, you see that I've got my actual Canva for Work subscription here. There's one of my beautiful clients <laughs> smiling. Isn't that a great picture of her? She looks amazing. Um, and you see here, I've got all of my designs in here. And on the top, where it says create a design, this is where you've got all of your options for the different generic sizes. And of course, you can also click on use custom dimensions to import a size in either pixels, millimeters, or in inches. That's one of my favorite things to do, especially if I'm creating fave icons for websites or something like that, or graphics, for example, for, um, for Google+. I might make 1,000 by 1,000, click on design, and you can also do those custom sizes. Okay, On the left-hand side, you've got all of your designs here, and then you've got a bunch of different folders. So you can see I've created different folders for different clients. Oops, 
just scrolling down. And it's a great way within Canva for Work to keep everything nice and neat and organized and all in one place so that you don't get confused. Otherwise, all of your designs will just be here sort of in the middle and they'd be hard to find. Um, there really isn't too much more to know about the Canva for Work uh, navigation. All you've got to remember is that you've got your navigation on the left for organizing your files and templates for creating designs up at the top. I'm just going to open up one social media untitled design here so that you can see how Canva for Work is also laid out now with the navigation at the top. So I've just got a cute little gemstone that I've imported here. Nothing special. What you can do on the left-hand side is you see all of the general options that were in the free version of Canva are, up, are over here on the left. So you can still navigate through elements, add text, add different backgrounds, and then upload files. I'm just going to click on uploads here and scroll down a little bit further down the page. These are my generic ones. With Canva for work, you can actually add new folders. So for example, let's say I wanted one just for teach me tech. You can add new folders and upload documents directly in there. So that's something to take note of with the paid version. If I go back to my layouts, you see here there are also some brand new layouts that Canva has come up with. And with layouts, all you've got to do, we'll just add a new page, is select one, click on it, and you can start your design from one of the templates to the left. In addition, this is where you can start to store some of your templates that you might have already been sharing with your team. So if you do have templates, they can all be stored underneath uh, the individual folders. So it's perfect if you're managing multiple files for clients, or maybe you just want to keep everything all in one spot. You'll also notice at the top of the page that it's got file, undo, redo. Make sure if you're not really used to those keyboard navigations, so if you're on a Mac, Command Z to undo, Command R to redo, or if you're on a PC, Control Z or Control Z and Control R. If you're not really used to those, make sure that you do know where the undo and the redo functionality is within Canva so that you can make sure that you don't lose important information. In addition, at the top, you got here what says Social Media Untitled Design. You can change the title of your graphic. So I might say, teach me tech, uh, sample, design. And if you want to, you could put version numbers in there if you're doing a, a few different drafts of a document, for example, and make sure that it's listed there. This will help you later once you start to get a lot of designs to be able to search for a specific design that you've created. Pretty much everything else within Canva works just the same as it did previously with our How to Get Started video. Um, but you can see that there are additional elements and they're always updating the different images and um, grids, the different lines that are available there. So I'll just click on it so you can see. They're always adding different options. So make sure that you go in and check it out every now and again. And they always have got different holiday options for you as well. So if we click on icons, there are a couple of new ones here that look nice and neat. Um, the last thing to note is that within any document that you've created within Canva, there's now a button in the bottom right-hand corner that um, looks like a little presentation, like it's like an easel and it's got a play button in the middle. If you click on Enter Presentation, let's say you create a presentation for a group in Canva, it's really easy for you to open this up full screen on any browser or any device and show people your entire presentation. So even if you were going to pitch to, I don't know, the managing director in your business, for example, on all the social media plan for the next month, you could load it all up and then toggle directly within the browser. I'm just gonna press escape and close out of that. And of course, you can always press the minus button to be able to view all of your designs in one nice, neat page. Okay, so that's sort of the basics on the more advanced features within Canva. And when we come back from a short break, I'll walk you through a couple of the other different options that you just don't get with the free version. I'm Laurel Gray and you're watching Teach Me Tech. Hello and welcome back to Teach Me Tech. I'm your host, Laurel Gray, and today we're talking all about how to get even more out of Canva, that beautiful design software that we all 
To continue enjoying this presentation, download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today.